Peace, love, and happiness. How's it going? I'm sending you lots of love. So take it all, embrace it all, embody it all, and create your life how you want to. Everything that you truly desire, you are manifesting into this physical, tangible reality now. All right, so today I want to talk about letting go of your old self. And in this case, old Scott. Now, what did old Scott do? Old Scott used to have a negative, sad, depressing mindset. Old Scott used to get so much in his head and take on the identity of how he was feeling. Old Scott used to be addicted to escaping the pain, numbing the pain, drinking alcohol multiple times a week, smoking Lots of weed every single day. Smoking cigarettes every single day. Not having the best intention with women. um, Or treating them with as much respect as they deserve. Old Scott used to have no desire or no physical action and inspiration and motivation to actually take those actions. He just thought of it all and took no action on it. Now, new Scott, here we are. (laughs) Um, I have learned, of course, from old Scott, but there is an attachment to wanting to be that version of myself. And I have noticed this from doing my best to quit smoking my vape. Okay. And that's basically like the last thing that is like I feel attaching me Well, one of the last things to the old version of myself, the old Scott. Because when I let go of smoking that vape, who am I? What do I do? What does this Scott, this version of Scott do? He doesn't vape. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't drink. So what does he do? And this vape is holding me to my old identity. It's holding me to those experiences. And I want to let go on a conscious level. It's like, I want to, yeah, I don't want to be smoking this vape. It has no benefits for me. But I guess deep down subconsciously, it's like, no, this is literally holding you. It's a rope. It's attached to old Scott, new Scott. This is old Scott. This is new Scott. And there's something in between. And once you cut that, the old Scott's going to drift away. But the new Scott's just kind of floating around here, but doesn't know what the new Scott is. And that can be scary for in the middle Scott. <laughs> um, but no, it can be scary, like letting go. Of whatever you may be letting go of. Because you know you want to let go of it. You know you need to. And you know there's blessings, miracles, upgrades on the other side of that attachment. But you got to let go. And this has been difficult for me to just fucking let go. Because I don't know what's around the corner. I hope it's good. I have faith that it's it's, it's probably some good, good blessings. But it's scary to let go of uh, the past. And let go of the things I used to do, even though my mentality isn't that, but my physical actions aren't showing alignment with my mentality because the physical is still attached to the past. And uh, this can work in all different aspects of your life. It could be love. It could be relationships, friendships, uh, yeah, romantic partners, drugs, alcohol, experiences, places, people, places, things, right? And the more you become aware, the more you start taking smaller actions, the more healing you do from the past and healing from your traumas, your past experiences, the old you, whatever the case is, the easier it should be to move forward. And it has been a journey. It's been hard to quit all those other shit, the weed, the alcohol. And sometimes I'll relapse, but I don't get down on myself. And it's because maybe I need to work on the new Scott. What does that new Scott do? Because he doesn't do those things, but what does he do? What does the new version of you do? And what will your future you, the new you, thank you, the present you, for doing? Quitting that and adding something, like doing something better that will benefit you now and in the long run. Because vaping won't benefit me. So that's just kind of like what I want to talk about. Letting go of the old you to embrace and welcome in, make space. How's a rhyme? For the new you. Because it's true. (laughs) Um, Yeah, like let me know in the comments down below. 
if you're trying to let go of something from your life because you know that it doesn't serve you and there is something better awaiting and it's not gonna be like oh a better drug i can smoke no it's like a different experience whatever that is in your situation <laughs> uh if you like the video woo, give it a thumbs up and if you want to subscribe click click thank you so much for tuning into this video i'm scott vlad peace